て洗いてあわロンゴファカタタマタヘヒリガマハラヘマナワムリアパティアナリバーは多分最も大きな環境的なリバーの環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の環境の And then they do hydrology work as well. So they're really our kind of not just eyes and ears, but knowledge out in the field about the state of health of our rivers. We started about two years ago just looking at what were the barriers to fish passage in the Tiarai River. So the barriers that we identified on the Tiarai were board crossings and weirs. So we have fixed one of the weirs we've added、uh, baffles and mussel ropes so fish can swim and climb upstream. And then the fords we've fixed by adding a few extra structures to stop the perch, which stops fish being able to get back upstream after they have spawned. By improving fish passage, it allows fish to be able to move up and downstream, which means that their life cycle can be complete. So that increases the populations and densities of fish in the Tiarai. This river does flood quite heavily, it's very soft soils, so having A buffer on the edge of the river of willow or other vegetation is really important, especially in the higher mark. But I think there's kind of a sweet spot in that when we clear away these lower areas, it creates better inunga habitat. It's actually, as I understand it, better for the flood control as well, as long as we leave the upper trees in place. So, one of the research tools that's available for inunga work is artificial habitats, coconut matting with straw stuffed inside, and it's recreating that environment that the inunga like, which is dark, hidden away, quite damp. And initially, it's us figuring out that the system we're trialling works and that fish will choose to spawn in them. Then we can take this to other waterways and streams around the place and use them to help, help zone in on where the inunga want to spawn. And we, as the The r u a p a n i the Ngai Tafiri Hapu, and this m a r a in particular, have always been told, and we still regard it today. We tell all of our younger ones that we are the Kaitiaki, we are the custodians of this river. That river is us. You know, we live with the river, we swam in the river, we fished in the river. Kuman Mukupuna, I like to see it come back as it was before. We need to look after it. 